Hi everybody, thanks for joining me today. Today I'm going to show you how to make um, junk journal covers out of what you may have at home. Um, I realize that not everyone has um, old book covers, but I'm also going to show you how to do it if you don't have book covers how you can make a journal cover with chipboard. These are, I think, four by six. Four, yeah, just over four. And yeah, six. If you, you don't have chipboard, I ordered this off of Amazon. If you don't have chipboard, you can use cereal box. Um, and if it's a thin cereal box, just layer it up twice probably. Um, and that will work just fine. I also have a craft envelope. And you just, I'm just going to fold this in half. This can become a journal cover. I also have a policy envelope. These are six by nine. And when I first started, I loved using these as a cover. Um, even though it is orange, you can change the color, um, ink up the edges. Um, it makes a great little pocket here on the back cover. And you can use this part as a wraparound closure. Um, I typically would cut this flap off and I would cut this out and then I would make a, a separate closure. And then I also have a paper bag. This is from Michael's. It is five and an eighth by three and a half inches. No, that's not right. <laughs> it's 11 inches tall, 5 and an eighth inches wide. No, why is it saying like that? Oh my gosh, my goodness sakes. Okay, it's almost 6 inches wide, and it's 11 inches tall. Opened up, that's where the 3.5 came in, but we're not worrying about that. That's what this is. Um, we're not going to worry about that. And if you don't have this kind of bag, you can use lunch, regular lunch bags. Um, going to take this off and going to <clears throat> open this up. And then you can also use just craft cardstock. These are um, card bases. And let me show you how big these are. So these are 10 inches wide and six and a half inches tall. So you can cut down an eight and a half inch piece of paper or, um, you know, whatever size that you would like to make. And I have two of those because I'm going to layer them together so that um, the cover will be a little bit thicker. Okay, so mm -hmm. let's start with this one. And, oh, and I'm going to use these signatures that I already have. I have them prepped. Not quite ready to go because I have things that I need to glue together or stitch together if I want to do that. Set that aside. Okay, so this little sack here is um, it's about six and a half inches tall, including this thing. And I don't mind that it's that tall and it's going to be taller than my journal because I like my I like things sticking up or sticking out or you know layering. I love the layering look. So not all of your pages have to be the same size.
So, with this, first I'm going to cut the flap off. And open it all the way up. And then once you get it to this stage, you're just going to fold those ends in like this. Now, I am going to take one of these gussets and pop one out. So you see how wide it gets now? If you pop both of them out, you can have a much larger cover. So with it this tall, nothing sticks out the top, nothing sticks out the bottom, and it's just going to roll over like this. And what I want to do with this part, let's see. I want to make it kind of like that so that this will wrap around the cover and make a closure. So this will fold over like so. And then this will glue these down or sew those down, and then it will wrap around like that. I love covers like this. They're so cute. All right. So let's continue on with this one since we inked it. But you know what? I'm going to ink this one too. <laughs> Look how cute. Isn't that cute? I love it. 
even with the little folds and the wrinkles, I think it's so cute. All right, so now I'm going to stick this down. You can also use your glue of choice. You don't have to use what I'm using. This is just um, Barely Arts glue. My screen went black. That was totally weird. <laughs> okay, so that's how that is going to look. And then you can ink up more um, here and there if you would like to. And so I am going to sew this all the way around. Um, I'm going to close this opening up. And I will be right back. Okay, I'm back, and I'm done inking all of this. It only took me two days. No, I'm just kidding. Um, it does take a little bit of time, though. Um, <clears throat> so it's totally up to you whether or not you want to ink or not. But, um, yeah, I went ahead and did all of this, and I have my cover. Before I bind, I'm going to... Do something with the inside I'll probably you know at least cover this part up so when this is closed um, let me think here I could just put a piece of paper here so I do have an extra bag that um, I, I was I did start making a cover but I didn't end up liking it so what I'm gonna do is just trace around this cut this out and attach it I'll ink that piece and then I'll attach it to the inside and oops cover this flap up
Okay, so I have this all attached. And I use Fabri-Tac. You can use any glue you want. Um, whatever works for you and your climate. And now all I'm doing is just softening this up. Because a lot of times glue will make this really um, stiff. But I want it to stay flexible. So I'm just kind of just working the paper. Smushing it down, making sure it's as flexible as I want it. I don't want hard creases. Okay, now let's take our signature here. I'm going to show you how to stack them up. We'll need some clips. These are just from the dollar store, Dollar Tree. Okay. So, you know what? No, yeah, yeah, it's okay. Um, these two are going to go together. And I'm going to put pockets or hinges in there. And then glue across the bottom so that these will become pockets. So a pocket on the front side, pocket on the back side. Okay, so those go together. And then I have this paper and I want it centered so the border is even. I'm going to take this one. This one is slightly smaller. And then these two papers go together. You can just leave this down on the table, just hold it still. You have all of it situated. It can shift a tiny little bit. If it bothers you, um, you know, just make sure it's straight. Looks like I forgot to ink something. Nope, I didn't. Okay, so now when you get to this point, pick it up, fold it in half, pushing everything down in the middle. If anything shifts, Pull it up. Like so. Make sure this is as tight as you can make it. Tight meaning you have all of the papers pushed tightly as much as you can. And then you're going to take a clip and you're going to put it one on each side and turn it around. And you're going to put one on each side. Okay, so it's going to look like this. 